Bruno Gomerez gives a masterclass performance against Wolves. Fabian Shaw has said that he wants to stay and sign a new contract at Newcastle. And believe it or not, Miguel Almiron is being linked away for as much as 59 million this summer. And we will talk about all of that and more in today's Toon Tuesdays. Yes guys, how's it going and welcome back to Toon Tuesdays, your weekly roundup of Newcastle United news and as I've mentioned there is plenty to talk about today and we are going to start off with the fantastic three points against Wolves on Friday night. Newcastle remain unbeaten at St James's Park in 2022 which is a fantastic statistic and let's be honest the game wasn't the most exciting at times. I do feel like Wolves kind of turned up and were happy with a point. Chris Wood put the ball in the back of the net twice. The first one ruled offside so it was great to see him get a second chance with the penalty and put it in the back of the net. There were some great individual performances on Friday but the one that stood out for me by a mile to be honest was Bruno Gamares. I thought he had a fantastic game. It's taken some time for him to get his first start at St. James's Park since we brought him in in January, but he got it on Friday night and, and what a game he played. Eddie Howe spoke about Bruno in his press conference saying that he's got some real intelligence. There is no fear in Bruno. He wants to be on the ball in every moment and that's part of why we love him so much. A player that's had, again, a bit of a 50-50 reaction following the game is St. Max. There are more links to him potentially leaving this summer, but Eddie Howe once again has tried to play these down as much as possible, actually coming out and saying that he was delighted with the performance of St. Max. In terms of his performance, he had six successful dribbles and four shots on goal and actually helped set up the goal as well. To be honest, I think these rumours of St. Max are going to run on all the way till the end of the season, but if I'm perfectly honest, I can't see him leaving. Um... But somebody who is linked away this summer is Miguel Almiron, who came on in the 13th minute against Wolves and, for me, played a pretty good game. Obviously, Fraser going off with an injury was bad news and we will talk about the injury situation in a moment. But sticking with Miggy, uh, Eddie Howe did actually speak about him in his press conference as well, calling him a real weapon. Uh, he said he thought Miggy did really well and it's actually brought forward the conversation of could Almiron be in for a second chance at Newcastle. Now, obviously, he has not played much football at all under Eddie Howe, and on most occasions, it's been Murphy who has been the first choice when either St. Max or Fraser hasn't been fit. But it was Miggy who came on the pitch. I thought he worked his arse off. We know he does that anyway, but going forward is always where we wanted a little bit more. He played a fantastic 1-2 with Bruno that actually led to Chris Wood's offside goal and if I'm being honest it's probably the best performance I've seen him play in forever. It, it feels like ages ago since I've seen him um, play that well so I was really happy to see what he could do and because he played his first good game in forever he has again been linked away in the summer and I think as Newcastle fans this is something we're going to have to get used to with players constantly being linked in and out of the club but what I hadn't realised is that Miggy actually has a release clause of 59 million and the reports that I'm reading are that Newcastle want to try and get that release clause met for him to leave this summer. Now again, it's all rumour, it's all speculation, and I don't know who the hell is going to pay 59 million for him, but if they did, I think I would take it. Uh, he's been linked with clubs in both Spain and Italy, which again, I think would probably suit his play style better than it does in the Premier League. But let me know your thoughts down below. First of all, would you like to see Miggy get a second chance at Newcastle? Maybe you want to see him stick around in the summer. If someone's paying 59 million, I think we're going to take it. But being more re realistic, would you take 15, 20 for him? Or, you know, we've seen a bit of a spark from him on Friday night. Is there more to see from him? Or do we need to move him on? Let me know down below. Looping back to the injury issues that I mentioned earlier, Fraser went off after 13 minutes with a believed hamstring 
injury. Now, that's not what you want to hear. You want it to be a knock that can recover from quickly. You don't want it to be muscular because those are the ones that take some time. But the early reports are that they hope it not to be too serious. So we will have to wait and see about that. Obviously, Joe Willock didn't feature because he was injured again. That doesn't seem to be too serious. And the most recent update on Trippier and Wilson both appear to be the end of April. So again, still hoping to see them back before the end of the season. Something that has continued on in the background is Newcastle's search for a director of football. Now, it's believed, allegedly, that Dan Ashworth is the man to be taking the job at Newcastle previously of Brighton. However, due to contract complications and what I believe allegedly to be Dan Ashworth having a six month no compete clause in his contract means he can't leave Brighton and then go to Newcastle for six months unless Newcastle agreed to pay compensation to get him out early allegedly. Uh, so basically he would not be able to join us until November and the newest rumours and speculation is that Newcastle could well change direction and go looking elsewhere. It would mean if we stuck with Dan Ashworth we wouldn't have him for the summer or the start of the season and now that Newcastle have you know one hand on Premier League safety you would expect there to be quite a few people who may want the job. So it sounds like we could change directions. We may stick where we are. We don't know yet, but there's a bit of news coming out on that one. So we will have to watch the space. And we'll finish off with Fabian Shaw and that he has now publicly come out and said that he wants to stay at Newcastle. He tweeted the other night after the game saying nothing better than three points at home. And he's also said that NUFC is his first option in terms of a new contract. Uh, he's currently 30 years old. He signed a one-year extension last summer, and it's expected that he will sign another year extension this summer. He has been linked away to the Bundesliga, particularly Frankfurt and Wolfsburg appear to be the teams fighting for the signature of Schaal. But as I say, he has said he wants to stay at Newcastle and that he loves working under Eddie Howe. For me personally, I would like to see Shaw sign a new deal. In terms of how long, I think a year would be good, possibly even two. I think that's where you come into it as to whether Shaw believes he's he's worth more than that in terms of years. If he went off to Germany, he might find more security in a even you know a three year deal with Newcastle in the huge transition we're going into, I don't know that we'll offer him that long a deal. Um, so that's where the conversation probably is right now and I think that's probably why it's taken a bit longer to get this done than maybe it should have. So let me know your thoughts down below on Fabian Shaw. Would you sign him up for a year, two years, three years? Or do you think maybe we should let him go and we should go and sign a new uh, centre-back in the summer? Let me know your thoughts on that. But that is it guys, let me know your thoughts on that down below on everything we've discussed today. Fabian Shaw, St. Max, Almiron, Fraser injury, great win against Wolves and... The game coming up this weekend against Leicester. There will be plenty more videos before then. And I will be at the game against Leicester as well. So be sure to look out for that. And if you've not seen it already, be sure to click on my vlog from the um, Wolves game on Friday night. Great night under the lights at St. James's Park. So if you've not seen it, be sure to click it. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. And I'll catch you later.